Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here. We are picking up where we left off from before. We are at Lady Dimitrescu's castle, which is um, kind of an interesting section of the game, if I'm being honest. it's She keeps popping up out of nowhere, for one. But like the um, other vampiresses, she's going to be weaker against the uh, outdoor air, dries up the skin. Except when I faced off against her in the courtyard in the last episode, she didn't. She didn't. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen here. Um, I'm really not entirely sure what's going to happen with the Hall of the Four. I have one more mask left to get, and I think I got everything so far. Uh, 2F is blue. The roof is... Yeah, I need to get through the roof. Basement. I have gotten everything. Basement 2. Well, there is no basement 2, honestly. Well, there is. It's just a little tiny area. Which, again, I got. So there's a little Jim Tresca coming down the stairs now. Yep, there she is. God, she is huge. Now, by the way, apparently she her boob size is like 56L or something like that, which is ridiculous. Um, but, I mean, she is 9 foot 6 tall, which is like a foot and a half taller than my apartment, so that's... Just ridiculous. So I need to go U-turn straight across up the stairs. That'll be cool. The entire oh, come on. bloodline of House Domitress is done in by the likes of you. Why did she turn around at the last fucking second? Of course she would. <laughs> Lady, this is a safe room. Ah, see now this is better. Now this shortcut to the this one. So this is gonna be nice. I like these. So the gargoyles that are up here are going to be a little bit of a hassle, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay. I think I was already out on this rooftop, honestly. Similarly, while I was on the rooftops already. I know I got all the items that I would need to from here. Because there was a lockpick up that was here. But I got that already. Which I just realized I am holding another lockpick. 
that was Dagro Dust Flowers, Antique from the Middle Ages, coated in concoction of poisons, blah blah blah, no one knows where it is. Chances are I'm going to be the one to find it now. Yes, I mean, I think the attic, there is going to be one item that I need to find. Hmm. So that's going to be a little bit fun to deal with. Unless it's in this little section. No, it's not, not hidden? Okay. Now something tells me it's going to be in one of those like hidden crevices and it's going to be one of those crystal things again. Or like a piece of rusted scrap or something. Now the best thing that I can say. Search for the obvious, then search for the obscure. Everything in this place is fucking obscure, let's just be real. Um, so this is the rooftops. That's one way to do it. Nice little trick shot. Which, funny enough, the trophy was called trick shot. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I got some moderation to do as well. I, um... Nice. Well, that's nice. It's always nice to pick up some... some money. I was going to say it's always nice to, to, to have a lay, but that just would come out really inappropriate, so. We're not going to do gunpowder. Nice. There we go. Belfry. So before I go to the Belfry, there is something that I'm missing in here. And by Jove, I am going to find that. That missing piece, that missing something. That's something that's been missing from my life. See, this is the thing about the um, the castles and stuff, and this is exactly why it reminds me of Dark Souls. Like when you can look down and you can see like the entire like there's a windmill down there that you can see. If you can look down, you can almost see an entire friggin' village. It is very Souls esque. This is also where I wonder what's going to show up. There we go. 
Yeah, because there's nothing that's showing up out here. I'm lost. Although apparently the Belfry and the Tower of Rage are that floor. But the Tower of Rage is on top of this. So I guess I'm going to go to the Belfry and slide down this rope. Cool. I am looking forward to that, actually. That's going to be nice. Freaking great. Um... Cool. Well, we'll do a U-turn around everything. See if we can't quickly uh, scour for any... Cristales. Which, no, it doesn't seem like it. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I really... It's probably just me being a perfectionist, but, like, I do want to get every single thing in a game. And I like exploring all the architecture. I like it. Ooh, what's this? Actually, that's probably what I need to explore next time. So, screw it. Let's just, let's, let's just come back. Let's come back. To the Belfry. As long as I don't have a stupid, like, a stupid, like, Dark Souls-style boss fight against, like, six gargoyles at once that keep splitting off and shooting magic missiles at me, I should be fine. <sighs> oh, shit. I, that was me. That was my bad. In case you can't tell, I really hate bosses that clone themselves. It's just, they... And, like, I know I shouldn't hate it. I should see it as a challenge, but just it's so unfair when they clone themselves. It's like when you go through the Covenant of Darkness in Dark Souls 2. No matter how powerful you are, it's just... It's just, you always get wrecked by it. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. Don't you break the jar. I would laugh if the belfry was connected to the lower floor. Okay. Spoilers, it's not. This is beautiful, though. Okay, I should be able to get out with these. I'd certainly hope so. Apparently the rooftops are not done, though. But I should be able to kick this down. And I swear to God, if Dimitrescu pops up now, I'm not going to be happy. Alright. We'll do a loop backwards through. From the Belfry back. And this is like, I love puzzles like this. I just love this. Is that the courtyard? I just realized. Yeah, that is the courtyard. Nice. We're high up. So this is the belfry. From here, there is nothing. Nothing and no one. Let's see. 
There is nothing up on this ledge or under it. So we're fine there. Nothing up here. Nothing I can see to shoot. Nothing in there. What do I do? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a rusted bit or something hanging out of one of these edges as well. Actually, it doesn't look like that, but I wouldn't be surprised. There's probably some, like, weird... There it is up there. Some dumbass wall, I was going to say, but yeah, there it is. And now the rooftops are done, but the attic is not. <clears throat> And see, this is what I mean by, like, you got to start with the, the obvious and work towards the mundane. Because you pick up all the items that are around. And then... Eventually, you can figure out... Because, like, now the entire rooftops is blue. Which means I've got everything that I need from the rooftops. So now I need to go into the attic. And then there's just two rooms to work with instead of the whole thing. So that's what I mean by like working backwards and working with the obvious, then the mundane, and all this other stuff. Now, seeing as this is the attic, it's probably hidden on a beam somewhere, let's just be real. Either hidden on a beam or hidden behind something else. Maybe I'm losing it. Have I gone, like, completely down the shitter? Like... Am I just going absolutely bonkers for completion at this point? No, I mean, the answer is yes, but you don't have to say it. I think it's in this main room. God, if it was something like dumb like through here and had to fall through the window, I would I would just be disappointed in myself. Okay. Let's start with the obvious. There's a lantern. There's nothing behind the box. Is there anything on the ceiling? Not in this area. Anything in the beams here? No. Anything in the beams over here? Not as far as I can see. Is this last item? It's like Dark Souls, but no enemies respawn. I am going crazy. I am very sure that the item is somewhere in this room. And yet I can't, like, does this ladder a part of it? Because it seems like it should be. Unless it's over this way.
Okay. Because by this point, I'm back in the atelier. So it's, it's obviously not down this area. Why do I feel like I'm being so dense right now? Like, where the fuck is the item? I mean, it's in the attic. We've established that. In behind here? No. I can't help but... Oh, oh. Really? That? I hate searching for hours. Well, not hours. Well, I guess hours. I hate searching for a while, and then it's just some dumb, obscure common item. If it was a valuable, or if it was that dagger of whatever that they were talking about before, then it would make a lot more sense. But this is just... This is just a little too... insulting. Could use some Muzak for this elevator, honestly. Now, one thing that interests me is that this room is still showing up as red. Never mind. So if I were to cut all the way across down, that's the merchant's room. And I got the item in the courtyard. Oh yeah, I did get the item in the courtyard. That means Castle Dimitrescu is finished. Literally, all I need to do is put the four angel busts on and then I'm good. So straight across to the end, make a U-turn. Stupid man-thing! You won't live long, even if you run! Well, I mean, the merchant's room is a safe room, so I kind of will live long. I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. You know what? You wish I would to love to. Purchase? I would actually love to. Because I have some crystal fragments to sell. I don't know what the silver ring is supposed to do, but I'm going to keep it on hand. <laughs> To think I would buy such things. To think I would buy such things. Well, you know what? I've gotten Whatever. some new stock. As much as you have some new stock, it's uh, a lot of it's sold out. So I. <laughs> there. Now, if I get four thousand, I can get the sniper rifle ammo. Please come again. I can't help but wonder if um, opening the front doors is going to just kill Dimitrescu in her tracks. That would be like a really anticlimactic end to this entire ordeal. Carriage gate, vineyard. Now, see, the iron insignia key I got from Dimitrescu's castle. So those houses and stuff from before, I can actually, you know. Um, underground. Where's the underground? Oh, a band of mine in a cave church. Interesting. So the village itself, once I get back there. Six-winged unborn key. 
There's a couple of iron insignia keys, actually, the lockpick areas. Mechanical door. There's a couple of areas that I can get into. This one would be the lockpick one. But I would need to find a way to get to get. Because that locked itself. I think. Or when it came through. There, there's some kind of a detour that I took. What's this one? Just lock. Save point. Oh, I, that's just, apparently I missed the thing in the church. That's good to know. It's good to know. But anyway, the best thing right now. I think the lock is. Oops, wrong one. Because I think what's going to happen is I'm going to go out this door over here, and it's going to bring me down a path back to the village. And then the same thing as well, it's going to be like, oh, go to the mines. And then I'm going to go through, and I'll come back to the village through another locked door. And I feel like I'm going to solve the mysteries of the village that way. Hey there, lady. I know you can see me. But you're not going to get me. I got ways. I got a door I can hide behind, so... Let me figure out which one's one, two, three, and four. So, Mask of Rage. Whoops. So, Rage is three. Pleasure's four. So, I'm going to Joy, Sorrow, Rage, Pleasure. make a vintage, huh? I thought your wine was called Sanguinous Virginis, or Maiden's Blood Wine. Probably wants to shoot you right in the cold, dead heart. Actually, you know what? This would actually be a good place to save my game. Gee, that doesn't look like it's a dangerous trap or anything. <clears throat> I like puzzles games like this, but sometimes it's just like... <clears throat> this is going to be a boss. You know this is going to be a boss. You know damn well this is going to be, like, the bossiest of bosses. Ah! 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 
Why would you keep a knife around that weakens you? Well. Oh yeah, she's dead. Okay, vampire. You know what, lady? Looks like your outside matches your inside now. Such a witch. You know, I don't think I will. Oh, okay, well. I love the graphics, by the way, in this game. No, I know what they, I know, graphics aren't everything in the video game, blah, 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 blah. But let's face it, I'm standing on top of the stairs and I can see my own shadow move back and forth. That's just positively impressive. <laughs> Dark Souls, but quite clean. Well, we're gonna not with that. Just give up! Your time belongs to me! Not enough blood! More! You know what, lady? I got you. Alright. We're just gonna get eaten by a bunch of bats. I may as well climb up the front of the You're right, I don't. Did I get all the items at least? No. Come on. <laughs> Lady, I got you. You know, all those people who said that Demetrescu is such a body.
How do you feel knowing that she turns into that? Yeah, no lady. For being a nine and a half foot tall vampire lady, you sure went down easy. And I know a thing or two about going down easy. That came out in a prose. You're the one who's cursed. Yeah, well, Ethan, you're not wrong. She, uh, she is cursed a little bit. Kind of bothers me that I didn't get all the items there, but... Maybe. Just maybe. Now, what's this? Like there we go. This place. A dirty flask. Rose. Look for Rose, of course. I forgot all about Rose, honestly. I finished the item that was requested. Please deliver to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins, then down to the village. Okay. May as well finish whatever we were looking for in here. Nothing in there? Cool. There's a save point, but what else is there? Rusted scrap, and that's it. Cool. Well, that's nice. We finally beat the Dimitrescu family. So there's no more vampers. But if there's anything like the four Kingsmen in Dark Souls, we still have that guy who put us through that circus, that carnival thing, the rolling spike cage. We still got the, um... Mother Miranda. And that other guy. Think it wasn't the Duke, it was some other guy that was, that was in the, the group of people. I also want a typewriter like that. Is that a Remington? Lexington. I might have to get myself a typewriter, actually, so I can do my stories a little better. Although Opera GX is pretty good for that, because of the mechanical keyboard sounds. But anyway, we're going to come back next time. But as always... Have fun, gay.